Whenever you start sculpting in ZBrush, it's common to build a volume with quick, sketchy back and forth strokes. However, this can create some unwanted buildup at the ends of the strokes and results in hatching lines and zigzag rather than laying parallel. So when uh, ZBrush 2020 was released, it came up with a feature called a no back and forth. And it fixes that issue of a back and forth hatching line sort of thing. Uh, so let me uh, show you how we can avoid that back and forth hatching line uh, like effect over here. So first let me uh, go and bring up my clay brush tool over here. And uh, by default, without using this feature, if you want to build up some volume, just uh, kind of was scratching it uh, like scratch it out and, and this is fine like you just have to do this and you will notice that this creating let me do one thing here let me make that density a little bit higher and reduce the size of it okay and I will choose this alpha right now here. so you will notice that I'm creating uh, with this or let me do one thing instead of clay let's take a clay build up tool this is much more better so when i'm going back and forth so you can see that this kind of creating this uh, scratchy look over here which in some cases is fi uh, are fine but in my case if i don't want it it looks uh, not that good for to me because uh, maybe i don't want this effect on my um, because these different overlapping strokes kind of create a zigzag pattern. And it's not always the best look that you want to have for your models as you're building up uh, this detail or this form anyway. So one way to avoid this is to stroke each of these by individually applying it, okay? Like this. So every time what I do, I stroke it down, leave my mouse button, let me do one thing here. Let me increase the subdivision so you can see clearly what I'm doing. Okay. So I will just keep on adding strokes. Okay. Just like this. So it's fine. It solves the problem, but uh, it's kind of a cumbersome process because if I want to undo, then I have to keep on undo each and every stroke which will take my whole day okay so that's one uh, issue with uh, with this uh, kind of uh, you know approach so i'm just keep on undoing it keep on undoing it keep on undoing it and then it's taking forever to uh, do that so uh, this will take uh, my whole day to do this and uh, to avoid this as well there is a new feature which was introduced in the 2020 version so that is no back and forth and where we find this if we will go to the stroke option here inside the stroke option we will see here uh, let's go to the modifier here and inside the modifier you will notice we have here a tool called a no back and forth if i will click on this no back and forth and with this selected if i will start my drawing okay so what it will do is that it will create an effect my uh, mouse left button is pressed i have i have not leave my mouse button so what it is doing is that as i move back it counts my mouse button or your stylus that you have lifted up or you have not pressed that button okay so it's kind of giving me single stroke no back and forth just a single stroke so this is quite handy if you want this effect on your uh you know model and the good thing is that once i'm done if i don't want it with a single control z i will get rid of this whole thing so with this turned on, we can just keep the stylus down or we can press our, keep our uh, mouse left button pressed. And each stroke will only going to, uh, to go in one direction. So if I start the stroke in this way and move back and forth in opposite direction, nothing happens. I 
still got my uh, mouse button pressed. So then when I head back, it, it's going to uh, do the, like a single stroke just like here. Now, another interesting uh, thing about this, as I told you, is that you just have to press Control Z and everything goes in one and two. So it's just another simple little feature that saves some time and can definitely help you out if you're doing a lot of form building with a clay brush or most any other uh, tool if you're working on. So guys, if you have liked my video, so hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel and give um, my channel a shout out on your social media account so that other students, other uh, people who want to learn uh, ZBrush, they can come or any other application that I have already uploaded. I have my full Maya uh, Essentials course. I have 3D Studio Max Essentials course. I have Substance Painter full Essential, uh, essential course. Then I have a uh, live stream where I have a complete character animator, After Effect, uh, photography, and so many other courses, uh, Illustrator, and so many other co courses out there. So uh, thanks a lot for supporting me. And I just want you to keep on supporting me. And um, please watch all my videos online. Don't download it because I don't get enough watch time hours. If you download them and watch, please watch it all. Uh, watch it online, and um, keep supporting me. And also uh, share it with the uh, like different uh, on your different social accounts so I can have more and more subscribers. So we will meet in the next class. Till then, uh, take care of yourself and enjoy your time. Thank you.